Good morning from day three, everybody. Today we uh, are going to be heading, we might be heading out to, uh, to the middle of the lake to go see if we can get any trout. We didn't catch very many more fish last night, and uh, it was a good time. We slept good. I enjoyed it. Good morning, everyone. Like Trent said, we're going to go out in the middle of the lake. It's actually shallower than it is here, but it's towards the middle. We're going to head over there and drill a couple holes, see if we can't get a few trout maybe for the day. Um, that is weather pending. Wind's supposed to pick up pretty good today, so we might not, uh, might not stay out there too long if we do end up going out there, but hopefully at least go nab a couple of trout, maybe uh, get something we can <laughs> cook with dinner, but we'll take you along with us when we head out there. For now, we're going to get some breakfast real quick and and get going for the rest of the day. Got one on here. Got one on the uh, jaw jacker. Nice little thing there. <laughs> Fat little thing. Yeah. That's cool. <laughs> yeah. Good job, Dad. Thank you. You're welcome. <clears throat> well, a little update on the day. Got the one laying out this morning. Haven't had anything else. Wind is <laughs> relentless to say the least. So we're kind of hiding out in the ice hut. We got two tip ups, two jaw jackers outside. Trying to stay out of the wind. Kind of seems like it's calming down a little bit, but it's not supposed to for much of the day. It's supposed to be pretty bad. So <clears throat> this is what we're doing making some ice house burgers. Trenton's over there organizing some of his ice stuff and just been hanging out, relaxing. Dog's trying to knock stuff down on the heater. Little deal what we got going out here. Clouds are going pretty good. Had to move the trailers. Snow was almost completely covering them. Fired the sled up, made a couple of rounds, packed the snow down, so. Anyway, it's kind of what we're dealing with. Nice breeze. Luckily, it's not too far back to the truck if we ended up needing to break everything down and head for the truck. About a mile across, so we're just hanging out, waiting for bells to ring. <laughs> Basically, all we got going on: a couple HT Striker Pro hook setters, and we got the polar tip up. Actually found that one on this lake a couple years ago. And an eagle claw tip up here. All these holes except for the one last night caught fish. Well, here's our hole. Two nice ones. The rest of them are decent, little. but little. I already skinned that one. Didn't think about showing them real quick before I started skinning, but we're gonna get these ones skinned out and back in the cooler so that easier to deal with when we get home well got them all dealt with trying to throw them back in the cooler saved you guys the nasty bit <laughs> getting them cleaned out can be kind of yucky <laughs> got 10 of them so far it's not been a bad trip hopefully we'll pick up a few more tonight so we got our jaw jackers and or I should say striker pros out. Tip ups. But that's way so maybe you can see me. Anyway, having a good trip still. Wind died down a little bit. It's actually really nice right now. Just I'm a little like, breeze. I take the auger and but some poles and go. Trenton's wanting to go out on the ice, I don't know. 
wind's probably going to pick up again soon. It's trying to, but anyway, I thought we'd check in and say hi at least. Shut the heater off in the hut. It's real warm in there. Ling, we found these two jigs inside of them. I cut open their stomachs and they had these two little jigs in them. Aunt Trenton got some gut treasures. And uh, they, there was also some crawdads inside of the, a few of the two big, big ones that we had had crawdad claws. Both of them did. They only had one little claw. So. It's kind of fun that we both managed to wear our Wyoming hoodies this trip. Represent the great state. Give me a little look around now that the sun's kind of shining. Nice and beautiful. Well, walked out on the lake a little ways. <clears throat> Try to get a couple trout or something before it gets too dark. Trenton's over there, playing with Coda. I'm just standing here fishing, watching the Vexler. Hoping and wishing. Look at the rock slide down the lake. A bunch of rock just come off the side of the hill down there. Trent and Coder running back over to the shack to check our poles over there. Yeah, that was that was exciting. Trent and Dakota wrestling. I'll wrestle you down. Dakota! No! Try and just kick snow at her. Of course, I shut the camera off just before it happens. This huge ice shelf over there just collapsed. That was pretty gnarly. Good. We're out on the lake, this ice shelf right here fell over. Big old huge slab of ice, big as that one there. It's every bit of six foot tall. All the way down to where Coda's at. Coda, come here. Get away from over there. That whole thing hinged over, slammed down on the ice. That was quite the noise. <laughs> Let a lot of water out of this lake during the winter. <clears throat> Looks like it's dropped down about probably 10 feet already this year, so. It's pretty cool the way that fell over. Kind of exciting. <laughs> Another big piece right there looks like it's about to go too. But it's still beautiful out. We're still having a good time. At 10, hopefully as the sun starts to get a little bit lower, we'll start hitting some more. I well, haven't got any more fish yet today, but it's all right. Still beautiful out here. Got 10 of them so far. Hopefully as the sun starts to go down tonight, we'll hook up on some more. So 
aside from that, we're just enjoying the nice day. It's not too windy right now where we're at, so hoping it stays that way. Trent and Coda messing around. I'm gonna walk on the ice over there. Having fun. Killing a little time. Not sure how this is coming up on camera, but water right there on the edge pushing up through the ice it's kind of doing it all along that edge this whole entire spot right here when we got here yesterday was dry i know how thick the ice is we got a hole right there we got a foot and a half ice under us but <clears throat> must be getting ready to form another little ledge Pretty wild. Put you on a selfie stick, see if I can get close enough to show you that. All right, we got a flag. <clears throat> hold on, hold on. Nope. No. Drop it back in. Don't bring it up, drop it back in. Put it on the heavy setting. I did. Maybe it's just a little tiny bugger. Now, good evening, everybody. Cooking dinner. Haven't got anything yet. Hoping that maybe it'll start picking up. Winds are pretty bad. Like we figured it was going to pick up tonight, so. Anyway, we're cooking dinner. Kind of cheating a little bit tonight. Try to get it done a little bit quicker using the white gas Optimus stove, so. Got some bacon going at the current moment. Get all the bacon cooked up, then we're gonna get some deer steaks in there. Cook up some deer steaks, and we're either gonna have uh, deer sandwiches or deer wraps. Haven't decided quite yet, but got tortillas and hamburger buns. One of them's gonna get eaten with it, so. Anyway, here we give you an update. Still at 10 fish, and hopefully start picking a couple more up throughout the night, but. Hanging out in the ice hut where it's warm. It's cold out tonight, so. A lot colder than it was last night, too. Yeah, definitely a lot colder than last night. But, we're gonna keep cooking dinner. Check back. Coda, be careful. Here, let me have the, let me have the flashlight. Better first tip up of the night. Nope. Nothing on it. Snowing like crazy. It's windy. No fish. Haven't got any fish. I had one flag go up, but didn't have anything on it. We're just sitting here trying to stay warm and hoping for fish. So Coda's crashed out. Probably can't see her very good. We got the light turned down. There's Trenton. Hey everybody. Still got our poles in here and four poles outside, but Definitely not having any luck, so. Anyway, here we sit. Now we're gonna call this the end of day three. Got one 
fling this afternoon. Well, kind of earlier this morning, I guess. But aside from that, nothing else. Had a couple little bites, but I think they're all pretty small. Never got anything to actually dedicate to taking it, so. Snowing outside, still a little bit windy. <clears throat> but Trenton's crashed, Coda's already crashed. Got everything pretty much put away. Yeah. Get up in the morning. Hopefully the wind isn't blowing. At least too bad. Get up and get first load of stuff took to the truck. Get everything loaded in. We'll come back over, get the hut and the floor. <clears throat> get it over to the truck and hopefully uh have a nice safe drive to back to the house. Get home to see Mama and the girls. Definitely get to messing them when I'm out here a couple days. Sure enjoy getting to spend time with Trenton, but definitely miss the girls and Mama. So be excited to get home in the morning and see them. I know they're gonna be excited to see us. Trenton will be excited to get home and see his mom and his sisters. I know Coda's gonna be happy to get home and see her brother. I think she's starting to miss him a little bit. I think this is almost the longest they've been apart. I think I think they've been apart just a little bit longer when we did a backpacking trip in the summer, but aside from that I'm gonna try to I'm try to get a nap. Hopefully wind will calm down a little bit. Let us get some good night's rest so we can get this all taken care of quick and early in the morning. See you guys in the morning. Oh yeah. Hi guys. Thanks, baby. Alright, looks like Trenton's got one here. Hold on just a second. Let me... Hold on, hold on. There you go. All right, Trenton's got, looks like a nice one. Okay, hold on, hold on. Hold on, go a little, just a little. Don't, okay, don't, don't pressure him. Okay, real little. <clears throat> nope, hold on, hold on, don't pressure him. Okay, go ahead. No, oh, no, no. dang it. Broke you off. That was a big one. That's why I don't know if it's still there or not. Oh, yeah. It's still there. It's just barely moving. Oh, get that off the front of that thing. There you go. Yep. There you go. Okay, pull that thing back. Well, I got it. I got it. You just keep reeling. This one doesn't feel too big. That's all right. Nice, nice one, actually. Good job. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, hold on, hold on. That one's a different type wing. No, it's, it's normal. All right. I don't know if I got that one on camera very well, everybody. Sorry about that. Trenton just got this one out. Not huge, but nice little wing. Make sure the camera wasn't fucked up. <laughs> I'm gonna get him thrown outside. Well, I don't know how good we can see here, but Trenton got another one. Got it outside. Wind is still blowing unrelentlessly. But, got another fish. A couple more hours yet before we're gonna get too carried away with trying to get out of here, but anyway. 522 in the morning figured I'd click on the camera and give a quick little update so it gives us 11 11 fish total for the trip so far did have one really big one on Trenton's pole last night but he broke us off so hopefully we get maybe one more two more or something like that before we are completely done but 
Check back in with the after bit. We're gonna try to get some more sleep. Yeah, good morning from day four. Still windy, still nasty outside. Only managed to get the one more fish last night. Made our total 11. We're gonna start getting everything loaded up and get out of here. Wind's supposed to get worse as the day goes on, so we're not gonna be doing a whole lot on the video until we're in the truck. We'll catch up with you guys once we have everything loaded up and getting ready to head back towards the house, so see you then. Well, got everything loaded in the truck. Got everything back. Well, got everything back to the truck safe. Loaded up and we're heading home. Still windy. Wind is probably blowing 30, 40 down there on the lake. Pretty much blew all the snow clean off the ice. But we're getting close to home. Dakota's laying in the back seat, crashed out. Trenton's over here hanging out. We're going that direction, so. Getting closer to the house. Had a good trip. Caught 11 fish. Was hoping we would've caught a couple more, but not gonna complain. good we were safe had a fun trip so definitely not going to complain I saw it held up good to the wind it's the most wind I've ever had it in so it's <laughs> pretty impressive thing didn't move much so anyway keep heading to the house oh my God. well made her home safe like we got a waiting party standing at the door everything rode all right there's our little bucket of happiness for all our fish are hiding out at made it home safe say thanks to everybody for coming along on our adventure with us if you enjoy what we do please consider liking and subscribing catch you on the next one